Hey there, today I want to show you how you can use Site to better understand the research impact at your organization. With Site, we help you see how individual articles have been cited, how individual researchers have been cited, as well as how different journals and organizations have been cited. In this video, I'll focus on organizations. So if you come to Site, go to the Product tab, and then select Organizations, you're able to search thousands of different organizations to see how uh, research has been cited at your organization. As you can see, the table's loading. Once it loads, you'll be able to filter by uh, the number of total sites, the number of contrasting sites, the number of supporting, and the number of mentioning. In this case, I want to see how research at Cold Spring Harbor uh, has been cited and who has published the most there. So I search this and filter by Cold Spring. Then you can see the organization pops up. I'll go ahead and select that. Once you select this, it opens up the organizational das dashboard for Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory. There's a couple of key statistics up top, the total number of publications, the breakdown of citation types, uh, and then the number of editorial notices and what those are. So the number of retractions, corrections, errata, withdrawals, et cetera. In addition to this, we also show what we call the site index. The site index is a ratio that shows the number of supporting uh, citations over the number of supporting plus contrasting citations going from zero to one. This will help you get an idea uh, of if there's more or less debate happening in, in different time periods. If you continue to scroll down, you can see who has published the most within this research institution. And this is indicated by the names as well as the number of publications they have. You can scroll down and see the top 1,000 authors in terms of publication volume. If you continue to scroll down, you'll able, be able to look at these articles from this institution in a variety of different ways. So by default, it shows the most supported article but perhaps you want to see the most supported article with no contrasting citations. You can filter upon that, and then it changes it to this 2006 article by Carol et al. If you want to, however, see more recent articles where there's been at least one supporting citation, you can do uh, select for that and then organize the table to identify papers that have been recently published and have received at least a supporting citation. All in all, this is a good way to better understand an organization's impact to see how it has been cited. In addition to this, you can also set an alert to receive emails uh, or alerts within site when there are new citations or new publications to this. Additionally, you can download this information uh, to utilize it in uh, other spreadsheet documents like uh, Excel. Hopefully you found that useful. Thanks for following.